When I left the other day, it was 20 degrees. And I was dressed like this. Um, what's that? Yeah. Um, I've been a WordPress developer for a number of years. Uh, 10 years, 9 years. I've been a web developer for 25 years. Uh, my wife likes to tell people the, since before there were pictures on the internet. Um, so if you remember back that far. Uh, several years ago, um, uh, the guy that owned the company that I was working for suggested that I start a new project. And the project he came up with was called HeroPress. And HeroPress today is a collection of essays by people who have leveraged WordPress to overcome some lack of privilege um, or to enhance their life in some way. So uh, people in India are using it uh, so they don't have to leave their small village where they grew up to go to a big city to, to be in tech. Um, young mothers are using it to stay home with their kids and have a full-time job, a real job, and not have to put their kids in daycare. Uh, older folks are using it as a job after retirement, um, second career, third or fourth career, who knows. Um, just basically everybody. I, when I originally started, it was really about India because that's where I was focused. But over time, I began to realize that everybody is on the fringe of something, some part of society somewhere. Um, maybe you're older than everybody else, you're younger than everybody else, or taller, or who knows what. And so I started thinking more and more people from all over the world. Um, this is the website for it. Um, the most recent essay is from Miriam Schwab. She lives in Jerusalem. And uh, a bunch of years ago, she was starting a company and a family at the same time. And she had several kids in relatively quick succession and realized that, that not just having a job, but owning a company, having employees and business partners and having kids was extremely difficult. And she was able to use WordPress to do that, to stay home. She has five kids now. She always wanted a very large family and she always wanted to have her own company and, and now she can have both. Um, this is Amina. Uh, Amina's from Brooklyn. And several years ago, she realized that she and her kids needed to not be in their marriage anymore. And so she moved to Arizona and lived with her mother. And she had never had a job before because her husband did not allow it. She didn't know what bills were. She didn't know what rent was. She didn't know how to do anything. She didn't know how to live. And she learned very quickly, um, but her mother was ill and couldn't very well deal with her and kids being in the house also. She said, I'm sorry, you need to go find your own place. And so quite literally with nothing, she put the kids in the car and drove away. And she was able to find a very small apartment that she could afford on the money her husband was sending. And um, she found a local co-working space and fell in love with the people there. And they all said, hey, you should try WordPress. And she got into WordPress and got into the WordPress community. And people said, oh, you should do this job. You should do this job. And they started sending her work. And she quite quickly became a WordPress freelancer. And now she works for GoDaddy as a, as a tech support agent. Um, and it, the, the WordPress community came around her and lifted her up and changed her life. Um, I was just telling a story a few minutes ago. There's uh, uh, right on this very lawn, a couple years ago, uh, a guy walked up to me and, said, and shook my hand and said, I've come here from Pakistan to meet you because he read HeroPress. And while he was here that weekend, he met a guy from Bangladesh. And if you're not aware, Bangladesh and Pakistan hate each other because they went to war. And, Try to kill each other. Um, well, that afternoon they talked all afternoon and then became best friends and started a company together. And they went back home and pulled some Indians into their group. India also doesn't like Pakistan. And now, as a group, they travel around the world to work camps. They don't just like travel together, they stay at hostels together 
So they're all sleeping in the same room, staring into the night, talking about kids and wives and, and work, everything. Um, so because of WordPress, that group of people are changing the political viewpoints of their families, their kids. They're changing the world because of, of WordPress. Um, so both of them have their essays here on HeroPress, um, Asif and Anand. Um, I've been doing this for several years now. There are probably, I don't know, 150 <coughs> stories on here. And if I click the map, uh, it's not very big. Oh, look, you can make it big. No, you can't. <laughs> There we go, that works. So, you can see I have people from, from all over the world. Uh, if you know any WordPressers in South America, I'd love to hear about it. Uh, I need to meet some. I met some just this week, so we're doing all right there. Um, I'm meeting a lot more people in Africa. That's, they're really ramping things up there. Um, I need Asia, look at that. Um, my Chinese friends are not interested. They don't use the web. In China, they don't use the web. Nobody touches WordPress. Everything's on a phone, it's proprietary. Um, but Southeast Asia, I'd like to, to meet a lot of people. So if you know anybody, that'd be great. Um, let me show you one more cool story. This guy, Collins, is from Nigeria. And he built his first website on that telephone. Can anybody ever use C panel? Regular old C panel on a web host? He navigated C panel on that telephone and built this website. And he he took money from people to build websites. He was a he was a freelance website developer. This was before WordPress, but he was a freelance website developer building everything on that phone. Um, terrible internet connection. He lived in a small town in the backwoods of Nigeria. Um, but over time, he got a real computer, and he moved to, to the city, and he got a real internet connection, and he got into WordPress, and met the community, and, and started going to work camps, and the whole thing just changed his life. Um, he, says, he says at the top here, WordPress saved my life because of, well, because without it, um, he a lot of the kids in his town didn't turn out very well, and he would have probably gone down the same path. Um, so um, I have three minutes left. Uh, anyone want to ask me questions? I don't have a whole lot I want to say. I just wanted to show you this, and, and you can go read. And uh, if you're interested, you have a great story. There's a link here at the top. Oh, contribute. Um, no, that's contributors. This is contribute. Um, and it just asks a little bit about your story, and then I'll get back to you. Um, you can recommend somebody, whatever. Yes? Yeah, how do you come across these people? I mean, they, they submit something and then you... Sure. <coughs> um, I, don't get, I don't get very many from this form. Uh, most of them I track down. Um, oftentimes, I'll see somebody retweet a story, and I'll go and I'll look in Twitter where they're from. And I'm like, oh, Benin, that's interesting. And I'll hit them up on Twitter and say, who are you? What do you do? And suddenly there's an amazing story, you know. And I'm like, would you write for your WordPress? And there we go. Um, occasionally, I'm on to translate.wordpress.org, which lists all of the languages that WordPress is in and also all of the maintainers of those languages. So I wanted somebody from Iceland. So I went to the Icelandic translation page and I got that guy's name and I found him on Slack. He said no, but that's another way to find people. Um, if, I'm, if I'm shooting for geographic diversity, if I suddenly realize that the last four people were Americans, then I'll go hunting. Yes? You had a question? Yes. Oh, I was going to ask you if you also had a presence on Twitter, or Facebook, 
Maybe yeah. Um, I publish out to them. So I use Buffer. And so in Buffer, I can put in uh, the captions, and it goes out to Twitter and LinkedIn and Facebook. Um, I used to do a Tumblr, but nobody read it, so I didn't bother. Um, then that's pretty much it. Those three. Can, can I add something? Sure. So I met Tumblr at a, a word camp. Dallas. Dallas, okay. And he heard me speak, but he came up to me and said, I'll oh. start I, I met Topher at work camp in Dallas, and he heard me speak, and he came over to me afterwards and asked me if I would contribute. And, you know, I thought, well, that's a really cool thing, but then I forgot, because I, I was honestly thinking, oh, what do you want to know about me? <laughs> I don't see myself as someone that should, you should read about. And then we reconnected here, and we really talked, and I get it now that it's not that you were, you did something spectacular, or you over, you know, WordPress didn't save my life, you know? <laughs> so it's, it can be the small things. And I encourage everyone to just think about how it has really changed your life, and send him a form, you know, answer that form, and just check it out. Is that okay? Thank you, yes, very much. Okay. Yeah. Appreciate it. Oh, she's over here. Any other questions? Yes. Um, if you go back to your map, I didn't notice that there, you had to play in Brazil. I do have a couple in Brazil. Um, down in the south. Um, yes, so the question was if you have anyone in Brazil. I I always, I see it was like. So I have a wish list from Brazil. Yeah, I would love one. Sure. That's, that's all I mean. I'm not a developer. <laughs> I'm just starting out. But that's all right. If there's anything I can do, just, yeah, let me know. All right. Thank you very much. I won't go out the form and let and give you my Perfect. contact information. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. <laughs> Thank you.